it's Ashley. In this video, we are going to flip through my October spreads that I created. This is a classic size happy planner. And I recently did a video, a new setup video for November, and I'm changing things up just a bit. I'll talk about that just a little bit here too. But when we open this up, the first thing that we're going to come to, this is my wellness section up here um, until this part. This is all wellness. This is all current. So I'm not going to flip through that right now. But this one here is November's. And I want to show you this because normally the way that this looks is like this and I just use pen. I normally don't don't decorate this. This is where I block schedule my day. Normally it's just pen to paper and that's it. And it's usually a hot mess. But this week I decided to start adding some stickers and just kind of decorate this and have fun with it, which I'm really enjoying. So I may stick to that, I may not. But normally this section inside of my planner is just pen to paper. This is where I block schedule my entire day out. And then from there we move on. This was my catch-all. It was the it is the vertical classic from the Wild Style collection. Absolutely love that planner. So stinking cute. But I am changing it up and I have gone to a mini for my catch-all. And I'm using the dashboard layout for that. So this is what that currently looks like. Dashboard layout. And I'm loving this so far, but I've only been in it for a few days. So uh, we'll see how that goes. My plans with that was to just do this for November and December just to kind of help me figure out my 2021 planner lineup. But anyways, this one's from the Wild Style Collection. When we open it up into October, you guys, I actually finished the month. And by that, I mean normally what happens when, when we do things, when we have events and things like that, I usually take one of the Happy Planner sticky notes and I put it inside of here and I write it on. And then I come back like a week or two later and I'll sit down and actually fill it all in with the stickers. But usually towards the end of the month, it's always just sticky notes. I never come back in and sit down and actually finish it. But for this month, I did. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It looks so stinking cute. So um, I just used some of the Happy Planner Halloween stickers. I used the fall sticker books uh, to decorate this spread. I think it turned out super cute. Up here on October the 1st, we had a movie night and we watched Dr. Doolittle. And holy cow, if you guys have not seen it, I think it came out last year. I think we went and watched it at the movies. Or maybe it came out at the beginning of this year. Anyways, we got it on DVD, and I've been obsessed with it, and I'm telling you, I've watched it at least 20 times. I love it. We went and visited a pumpkin patch. We went for a nature walk. So there's this really cool, um, like, trail system close to our home. It's, like, maybe six minutes away. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I never realized it was as amazing as it is, so we've been going on a lot of walks and hikes and stuff there. We went camping for Cub Scouts, and it was storming that weekend. Went on another hike here. I started to read a book, but I never finished it. We made s'mores. This was just a super cute, fun spread. I love it. And when we open up to the first week of October, the way that I did this one is I went from, we went from fall to kind of Halloween. So it worked out perfectly in the spread. You had the last three days of November, and then we went into October on Thursday. So it worked out. So I did like a fall spread and then a Halloween style spread. This was one of my favorite ones for October in this planner. It turned out so cute. I love it. I love box stickers so much. They're my favorite sticker. I actually consider myself the box lady. If I do a spread without a box, that is very rare. <laughs> Gotta add all the boxes in. And I love these checklist stickers too. They're always, always nice to have. This was a really cute spread. Now this one, I just I really want to um, use a lined vertical, which I have one lined up for 2021 that I will be using, but I wanted to go ahead and start using one. So I turned the classic into a lined vertical. And what I did is I just took ruler, a ruler and a pen and I made the lines. And this one turned out super cute. I really love using the classic vertical. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna use that for in 2021. If I keep a mini for my catch all, I'm not sure so many options. I'm, I'm just not sure yet on my lineup, but I love this one. I use the Mickey Mouse stickers from the Disney and Happy Planner collaboration. Love the stickers. They're so cute. I love Mickey Mouse. This was really fun. I had a gratitude list over here. I love having a gratitude list. I actually do a start today journal every morning. This is by Rachel Hollis. And inside of here, you write five things that you're grateful for that happened within the last 24 hours. And it's usually small things. And so I like taking the the gratitude from this and I write it down over here and I really love doing that and then I have it in multiple places and I can pick my favorite things and kind of add them over here. So this one turned out really cute and I decided to repeat it but this time 
I did it a little bit differently. So this week I did the lines kind of close together. And then this week I separated the lines a little bit. And I'll be honest, I actually like the week where the lines were closer together. But this still turned out great. I loved it. It worked out wonderfully. I did not go back in and finish that gratitude list, but that's okay. I, uh, I'm really excited to dive into a vertical line layout for 2021. Now these ones, I still use the Mickey Mouse stickers, but this time, this week I did the blue and black, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then this week I added the blue and the yellow, the black, the red, and I think it turned out really cute. I <laughs> love this little sticker down here. That one's really cute. And then this week, I made a fun little pumpkin spread that was not functional <laughs> at all. Uh, I love it. I love the way it turned out. I think it turned out super cute, but it just wasn't functional. And for me, in my planner, the way I like to do it is it needs to be, it needs to be functional. That's like the main thing, but then I also like to decorate it. And so that's like using spreads like this, or if I do stuff like this, I can make that functional, but also cute. But with this, it was harder for the functionality part of it. So over here, the way I did it, because normally I would do like boxes through here and stuff, and I didn't want to put boxes like in here and up here. Like it just, I wanted this to be the main thing. So I took a box sticker over here and I put like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the side. This one was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I mean, that worked. There's nothing wrong with that. It just wasn't as functional as I wanted it to be. But it did turn out really cute. And then this is just uh, acrylic paint on cardstock paper. And then I ripped the paper and I taped it down. Same thing for up here, down here. Really love the way that one turned out. And then this week, this was my Halloween spread. This is probably my favorite Halloween spread ever. I love it so much. I think it turned out so stinking cute. So here, I actually have a video of me creating this spread. I'll link to it down below if you wanna check it out because I will definitely be repeating this style here with different colors. I thought that was really cute and really fun. I took acrylic paint, I kind of watered it down just a smidge, and then I painted inside of here and I think it turned out wonderfully well and then over here this one says hocus pocus and here i was writing out my gratitude list there we just have some checklists i was trying to fill this in these like white spaces with things that we had did that day my team calls we had a movie night we voted that day super cute pumpkins so that was november inside of my catch-all now i will take this out of this planner and i'm going to put it on its respective discs and this is the October currently. Oh, wait a second. This was October. This was October on my uh, social media planner. I'm sorry. We're in November. I'm not ready for November yet, apparently. I keep saying it's October and it's not. This was October inside of my social media planner. And this one, I was using the dots for what I was going to uh, post on YouTube, which did not end up working out. I've talked about it already, but October has been a an interesting month to say the least as far as my actual plans but I did finish the spread I think it turned out really cute happy Halloween we've got some fun little pumpkins these ones I just drawed jack-o-lantern on them I love the squad goal stickers and the cobwebs really cute this was the first week in October and this one's the dashboard layout I love this layout it's my favorite it's super functional, but you also have plenty of space to decorate. So to me, it's a total win-win. You have plenty of checklists, plenty of things that you can write in over here on the days of the week. So I love it. This one turned out really cute too. The Dream Seeker. I love the blue. It's like a nice bold blue compared to everything. It looks really cute. This week, I love this spread itself, but what I don't love is all of the yellow over here. I think I went a little overboard if I would have not done the yellow, like maybe did the yellow lines underneath of stuff, but then had the checklist just like dots like I usually do, like this. I think it would have been way better. I love the florals at the center. I love this little combo down here. It turned out really cute. I mean, it doesn't look bad with the yellow over here. I just, after doing it, I just wish I wouldn't have, and I would have um, at least left like maybe the checklist blank to where it wasn't so much yellow. And then this week I did a Mickey Mouse spread, which I actually ended up doing this on the wrong week. This spread was supposed to happen this week and I filmed it. If you guys want to check that out, I'll try to link it down below too, but it was supposed to be for this week and I actually pulled the wrong pages out of my planner. So I used paint pens to create this. So I drawed Mickey out in pencil and then I filled him in with paint pens and then decorated the rest of it. 
I really love the way this one turned out. This is why I love the dashboard planner. Like if I would have done that pumpkin spread here, that's a great idea. If I would have done the pumpkin spread here, I still would have had plenty of room to be super functional. So that's why I love this spread so much. And then this week was my Halloween spread. I think this one turned, no, this was not my Halloween spread. I lied. That's my Halloween spread. This was the week before Halloween. But anyways, I love the way that this one turned out. And I did the same thing over here. I took, um, I don't think I used cardstock over here. I'm pretty sure I just used regular paper. Nonetheless, whether it was cardstock or regular paper, it doesn't matter. I just took acrylic paint and I kind of painted on it and blended them together. And then I tore it and I taped it down. And I think that turned out so cute. I put a little bit of it up here. I pieced these ones down here together. I didn't have enough left after tearing it to make like a cohesive thing. So I just taped little sections. The little skeleton, I drawed little bodies on them. <laughs> that was really cute, little stick bodies. Cannot adult today, but I really love this spread. I think it turned out super cute. And see, even covering up this checklist over here, there's still plenty of room. Plus all the lists over here on the days of the week. Man, I just love this layout. And then this was my Halloween spread, which I love. This is one of my favorite Halloween spreads. This one turned out really cool too. So I took black cardstock and I just ripped it and then I glued it down in different sections. And I filmed this process too. So I will link this video down below. I mean, I know it's not October, it's not Halloween anymore, but if you wanted to create something for like next year or use the same concept, but it could be for Thanksgiving or it could be for Christmas or whatever, you guys totally can. So I will link those if you wanna check them out. But I really love this one. I love the candy corn. I love the black and white. I love the little like creepy scary pumpkins down here. Really, really cute spread. And then that was it inside of my planners. This is the current week that we are on and I haven't posted the spread yet. So you guys will get a little sneak peek of it. This is my current week in here. I think this one turned out really cute too. But that is my November flip through inside of my planners. I'm going to take those two Novembers out, put them on their respective discs. And then this is basically now my goal planner where I have um, health and fitness stuff up here up front, block scheduling my day, social media plans here. And that is my November flip through. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, thank you so so much for the support here on youtube for watching my videos commenting liking subscribing all the things i really appreciate it and i hope you have an incredible day i will see you in the next video